Hey, Mortgage Coach Community, Dave Savage here, and I am with Danny Harani in San Diego, California. Danny and team are killing it. Um, Danny, how many loans did you guys close so far this month, the month of May? I just finally funded our 71st unit uh, today uh, for $34.6 million. And, and by the way, this is the 31st of the month, so, you know, yeah. we're, we're pretty <laughs> much... came in on the wire. Yeah, we're reporting on the last day of the month. So, hey, congrats on a fantastic month. Uh, you know, we're having this call because you reached out to me about a success story with a CPA. And um, first, let's start with, you know, why are you guys going out and connecting with CPAs and financial planners? What's the why behind that? And then let's talk about some strategies to get more referrals in today's market. Perfect. Yeah. Well, the I mean, the real fundamental reason we're looking outside of our traditional referral base, which is uh, the realtor community, is that the, the 2017 market is, I would describe 2016 as an all-you-can-eat buffet. There was, you know, a refi waiting behind another refi, and there was a lot of activity. And so there wasn't a lot of hunting going on. I mean, there was obviously a lot of that, but it wasn't the same sort of urgency. Now that that market has shifted and we're having to look around and really, truly hunt for, for every deal, we're looking for other areas where we might pre be able to provide value. And again, the, the realtor referral source partners are always going to be our core uh, referral partners, the ones we, we really cater to. But looking outside and seeing other areas like the CPAs and like the financial planner community where we really have a lot of overlap. Uh, and we can provide a lot of impact to them. We decided to see what kind of concerns that they, they have that we might be able to uh, bring some solutions to their businesses. Yeah, no, no doubt. And not only that, not only are they new opportunities, but there are opportunities that you can refer to your realtors. Uh, so it makes, makes tons of sense. And uh, by the way, everyone, we've done a lot of interviews on how to get business from financial advisors. I put CPAs, financial planners in the same category, financial advisors. And down below in the description of this, we'll put a link to a playlist that covers different ideas. But why don't, why don't you share a recent story you know, that kind of started today's conversation? So we essentially asked the CPAs and financial planners. We, we had a, a mastermind where we wanted to just you know, understand what their pain points were. And, and for the CPAs, what they're looking for is sticky clients, people that need their service, like mortgage, there's a concern that automated programs like TurboTax and I mean, even, you know, th this particular professional kind of bulked H&R Block and others into kind of this category of, of, you know, simple tax solutions that might leave some money on the table for these people because they don't realize they think that their world is very simple. And then once they cross over a level of complexity, they start to think, oh, I need a real pro, you know, a CPA kind of falling into that bucket. And so, kind of vetting that out, the CPA indicated that if they can move their renter clients that they have into a buyer category, or even just get more renters to become buyers, that their pool of complex tax returns uh, would increase, which means that their business would become stickier or they would have access to more clients. And so uh, we put together a rent versus own uh, total cost analysis for what they described as their typical client, which is somebody that was in the you know, approximately 400,000 price range was this particular uh, CPA's uh, bucket of ideal client, shared that with them, and they absolutely loved it. And they especially loved the fact that there was uh, a note about tax deductibility in the total cost analysis that really reinforced the value that the CPA can bring to the table. And then, you know, having them tell that story about, really, it becomes synergistic for all of us, the CPA, the realtor, and the lender all get to share with this client the value of home ownership as it relates to you know the CPA partnering up to adjust their W-4, which would add that money to their paycheck monthly. So they didn't have to wait for a larger deduction. They would actually see the money on a monthly basis, which was super powerful. And being able to have that expanded triangle of service providers, really creating an awesome customer experience was also pretty exciting. So so love, love that. So by the way, gang, we're going to put a uh, rent versus own link down below from Danny, so you get a feel for how he's presenting that. So, you know, I always like to pull scripts out of this. So if I was a CPA and you were having a meeting with me and you were presenting me with this rent versus own, if you could just give me a minute or two of, of how that would sound. Oh, absolutely. So the, the main, so in that particular exchange, Dave, my goal would be to communicate how how powerful the, the total cost analysis is 
to making the aspect of tax deductibility around the mortgage really clear. And so that's really where I would hone in. I would, you know, Mr. and Mrs. CPA, you know, reviewing this total cost analysis, as you can see here. Hey, time out. By the way, Danny, are you doing the same thing with the CPA where you're, you know, giving them the iPad and you're walking them through it? Or how are you it, visualizing the total cost analysis during the conversation? In this particular meeting, I just pulled up, I just pulled it up on my phone very briefly, but it was, it was not to say, Hey, let's go through this whole total cost analysis right. through the app. It was just, Hey, look at, it's literally in my pocket right now. I can pull this out and the charts show, we didn't even talk about the charts, but then I'm like, Hey, look at all these colors. Let's just say that they're there. And then let's talk about how a client would really be jazzed on having this app on their phone and us being able to talk about it. So that's, that's kind of how that evolved. So it, it wasn't as, um, we didn't have kind of the dances choreographed as we would have with a realtor mm -hmm. uh, because it was a little bit impromptu leading into the, t the the total cost analysis. But what we did do is show how the net worth of that client, uh, and you know, in, with the combination of the principal reduction and the tax deductibility, how the effective monthly payment was lower versus the rent payment that exists now. And we're finding that to be the case on almost every, I actually can't think of the last time where it was higher. The, the net of tax, net of principal reduction payment was higher on the the own situation than it was on the rent situation, especially when you project it out into the future with rents increasing as much as they are. It's crazy to think that people are still committed to that cash flow number that rent gives them. I firmly believe there's some lifestyle choices where rent might make sense, but financially, if you look at the numbers, it's it's super compelling. Yeah, no, no, no doubt. So so you're meeting with the realtor, not realtor, the advisor, CPA, mm -hmm. you're walking them. Do you have clients that are in this bucket? Right. You're giving them the total cost analysis and then they're referring their clients to you to get a rent versus own analysis. It's a, all about that referral, referable experience. Referral. Yeah. yeah. So we're saying, hey, we want to create a referable experience. Here's what your client is going to experience. So you identify, you're the CPA, you're there with your client. They say they're a renter. They're operating on the standard deduction. Red flag goes up in your head. Oh my gosh, these guys could fly away from me if they, you know, start to believe they could do this themselves. If they got a little bit stickier, then I wouldn't have that fear anymore. Maybe I should have Danny give them a rent versus own analysis. And now I know what that's going to look like because I've had this referable experience shared with me. All right. So let's do this because I want to, one, keep this under 10 minutes. Just quick hit how to, you know, the referable experience with CPAs uh, from Danny. Uh, the rent versus own is below. If you like what we're sharing here, like it and share it. That helps get the word out in mortgage coach land. Uh, what about any other tactics or strategies that you're bringing to CPAs or financial planners? Any other TCAs that are helping you out in the marketplace? The financial planner one, you know, is should be pretty obvious. It's the the opportunity cost analysis. So the, just to very quickly go through that scenario, a financial planner gets the call from their client. Hey, Jim, I need to liquidate two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I'm buying a five hundred thousand um, dollar investment property, right? And this, the financial planner goes, okay, the market's been up for the seven to last seven years and I see all this opportunity and if you know we're in this very secure diversified portfolio, taking this money out and putting it into home equity is probably the worst thing this client can do. All this stuff's going through their head. Now they can share, hey, client, don't pull your money out, there's better ways, or they can elicit a neutral third party that doesn't benefit from assets under management, us, the, the lender, and say, can you share with them the advantages of them keeping their money with me, which are real, right? Not just self-serving for the financial planner, but can you be a third party that shares that insight with them so that we can all benefit from it, right? Client benefits from having their invested assets, financial planner has assets under management, we can get an extra whatever, 10% on the loan balance or whatever the ultimate number is that makes sense for that client after the full analysis is done. So then we, again, it's everybody coming together with a solution that might involve uh, different perspectives uh, and, and different insight that maybe I don't have or the financial planner doesn't have or leverage around the client, you know, an influence around the client that each of us doesn't independently have, but together we can really provide a comprehensive solution. Makes, makes sense. So Bottom line is you're helping CPAs, you're helping financial planners serve their families to make more confident, more effective mortgage decisions. Mm -hmm. um, as we wrap up this call, any last words of wisdom for the mortgage coach community? 
I think I said it last time, and and this you know is just another example. We have to get out there. Um, you know, Bill Hart uh, shared that we have a responsibility. We do have a responsibility. Uh, there is so much misinformation out there in the market right now, and so many companies trying to oversimplify this very, very important process. We need to be having our voices heard. Uh, and the only way we're going to do that is if we have massive activity. Amen to that. I'm sure all the sales managers love to hear that. Hey, folks, you heard the type <laughs> of production Danny and the Gaylord T um, Hansa team are having. You could be having massive success, too. You just need to deliver that consistent total cost analysis experience to all your leads, all your referrals, all your referral partners. And of course, you just need to be consistent with all your sales experience processes. So, hey, brother, thank you very much. Thanks for sharing this story and making time to record it and share it with other members. Anytime, Dave. Have a good one. All right. Take it easy, Danny.